Good morning. The Breeder Showcase has been an integral part of the Florida Flower Trials program. Traditionally, this has been a fast-paced, jam-packed informational session. With our change in the programming format for the Florida Flower Trials, we have asked our breeders to do a short presentation about their new varieties while we give those varieties a chance to become established in Florida's landscape. On May 12th, we will invite you to attend a webinar where breeders will share their results of the trial and be available to answer questions. This morning, I'd like to welcome Bob Hartman with Classic Caladiums. He will be providing a presentation for you on our Caladium varieties. Bob, take it away. Well, good morning. Thank you for this opportunity. Um, Linda, can we go ahead and have the next slide? It'd probably be the best to talk from there. Just to give uh, everybody a little bit of background of what who Classic is and what we do, we're a fairly young company. We uh, were founded in uh, 2000, so this makes our 20th year, 20th year celebration. But we've uh, really enjoyed great growth over that 20 year period and now have um, <clears throat> over 300 acres of caladium production. It was founded for caladium tuber production distribution, and we do have a worldwide distribution. Um, as far as breeding is concerned, part of the reason for creating classic caladiums was <clears throat> the fact that um, I specifically felt there was a lot of genetic, untapped genetic potential in this line of plants and that they had a lot broader use uh, capabilities. And so we began breeding with them in 2000. And by 2007, we were introducing our first varieties. Um, we now have over 80 patented varieties on the market. And um, we've introduced new colors, uh, yellows. We now have a lavender um, and new patterns and things like sun tolerance. We've got a whole uh, line of varieties that are full sun tolerant. That's Florida sun. Uh, but besides caladiums, we also produce uh, elephant ear tubers of the genus Alocasia and Colocasia. And um, <clears throat> last year we began producing canna rhizomes. Um, people may know or not, the vegetative cannas in the United States are infected with multiple viruses, which make them uh, cosmetically unsaleable. Um, we found an uh, uh, outfit in India through a connection we have in Holland that <clears throat> cleans up cannas and tissue culture propagates. So we receive uh, virus indexed micro cuttings from, from India through Holland and plant them uh, in a one year process and then dig them, divide up the rhizomes and sell those. So last year we did about 400,000. Uh, this next year, 2021, we expect to sell um, about a million. Uh, besides the dormant stuff, the elephant ears and, and cannas and caladiums, we uh, also do a potted pre-finished and finished program of um, all of our products plus uh, a line of tropical plants. So that's kind of what Classic's all about. And this, uh, this year we're showing six new introductions. Um, and uh, so we can go ahead and begin with that. One other comment, and I'll, I'll come back to this, uh, because of the breadth of our breeding, um, the Proven Winter Group asked us to join them uh, last year, and so we have given the Proven Winter Group uh, exclusive on 20 of our best varieties, and like I said, I'll touch on that here in a minute. So next, Linda. So the first uh, variety that I'm showing here is Explosion. Uh, next slide, please. <clears throat> Explosion, um, I think I've discussed this to the group before, but um, in Thailand, they, they have been breeding caladiums for, for many years, uh, but not at commercial levels, but they get very unique um, patterns uh, compared to our commercial varieties. However, they're pretty weak 
and uh, will not produce a commercial crop, at least in the United States. But we've taken these varieties and incorporated them into the U.S. variety genetics and to get the vigor that we need for our commercial production. So this uh, variety explosion <clears throat> has some Thai blood in it. Um, interesting in that it's um, a bronzy color. Uh, you saw the previous slide. Uh, this is second year growth on this particular slide. This is in Houston, Texas, um, but it is full sun tolerant. It's a small strap variety or lance variety, so it makes good four inch and, and larger um, pots and makes great uh, hanging basket. Next, Linda. <clears throat> this is the variety Ballet Slippers. Uh, if you're familiar with um, Clayton varieties, there's a variety called uh, Pink Cloud. This is similar to Pink Cloud, but Pink Cloud for us has been very unreliable and loses a lot of its pink, greens a lot. So this was bred to replace um, the pink cloud. Next slide, please. It's uh, got these white veins to contrast with this uh, rose uh, pink translucent. You can actually put your hand behind this and see, see your hand. For that reason, uh, we don't recommend it for full sun but it's really uh, quite awesome in shade. It's a larger variety, so we're recommending for six inch pots and larger in NDI and to enhance pot habit. Next. <clears throat> this is Snow Flurry. Um, you may be familiar with um, Florida Blizzard and our variety White Cap. Um, it's a similar pattern, but this white splotches are pure white and much larger and the green is very dark green whether you can nutritionally sound or not it's intense green so it's a very contrasting variety and much more intense in the in the green and the white next slide please so here's a close-up <clears throat> and you can see uh, how white the white is and how dark the green almost almost black and so it's, uh, it's very nice from this uh, contrasting pattern. Um, at this point, we're recommending it for the shade. Again, it's pretty vigorous, pretty fast. So it, uh, we're, we're suggesting six inch pots and larger. Next. Variety is hot to trot. <clears throat> it's a strap or lance leaf variety. Again, full sun tolerant. Next slide, please. And um, the uh, rows on the right there are hot to trot. The ones on the left are red ruffles. If you grow red ruffles, you can see the difference here. It's a deeper red, a uh, little bit broader leaf, a little less undulating, and again, full sun tolerant. Next, please. First, my bubble. Can we go to the next slide, please? First, my bubble is a dark red, almost blood red, but it has a sheen and there's a kind of a green chevron where the petiole attaches to the leaf blade. Kind of an interesting pattern, that sheeny or metallic look that it has is uh, got a lot of interest from a lot of people. It is a little bit slow. Uh, again, we're recommending for six inch and larger pots or landscape. It is full sun tolerant. Next, please. Splash of Wine uh, is, I don't know if people are familiar with Cranberry Star, which is white with red spots. This is primarily pink, but it will turn white. Uh, it's very compact. We have the next slide. Uh, and it's one of the 20 that are in the Proven Winner uh, program. Um, so it's pink to white with those um, burgundy, burgundy spots. Very fast, very compact. Um, that's great, great pot habit. You can see the Proven Winner pots there. It is one of the Proven Winner series. Um, so next slide, please. So this is kind of a summary showing all of them. Again, to, to uh, summarize, the explosion is this um, bronzy with uh, the rose pink veins and white uh, sectors. Ballet slippers, replacement for 
uh, pink cloud, rose pink with white veins. Snow flurry, very contrasting, pure white with dark green. Hot to trot, full sun, compact, good basket, good border plant. First my bubble, again, a full sun, dark red, um, and then splash of wines, very fast, very compact, and uh, makes a great, uh, great pot. Final slide, please. I want to thank you for your attention. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call me. And um, we're really seeing some cool, cool things with the Cladiums and a lot of new uses. And so uh, we're getting a lot of uh, attention worldwide. And um, pre appreciate your attention. Thank you. Thanks so much, Bob. Well, we appreciate it. Make sure to join us back on May 12th for an opportunity to ask Bob about uh, the different varieties that they're featuring in our trials and we look forward to uh, hearing from you then.